reviews. Back again with another episode of Asmir Swirls. Poppy edition. Poppy edition. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Uh, stupid selfie thumbnail. Eh, we're not going to use it. Um, anyways. <laughs> Asmir Swirls. He's Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, we have two beers here. Where did they come from and why are we drinking them both? Mike, I'm going to need your help this time. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So we have from the Sycamore Brewing Company. And this is a family-owned establishment, and they're out of, we didn't even look. Charlotte, North they're, Carolina. They're, I should have known. Hell Why? Know why? <laughs> why? I set them up. Whole segue. Perfect. Comes from Pop Organic. Meats, the world's greatest food tuber. You know, so on much the about chicken sandwiches, it's unreal. Yeah. And he um, loves Five Guys. So he really loves these beers. Yes. He sent us some beers he enjoys from the area, wanted us to give them a try. Yeah. Uh, so Sycamore Brewing, this is their winter ale, and it is their Christmas cookie. So I have the barrel aged Christmas cookie. I have the regular Christmas cookie. This one comes in at seven point five percent ABV, and this one comes in at eight point one ABV. All right, not a huge uh, can down eleven one twenty three. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> awesome. Uh, canned eleven two twenty three. Santa is a bourbon snob. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Hold your, hold your lock coat up. See if we can get it up there. Yeah, there we go. It'll be there someday. That'll be the thumbnail. Right, yeah. Stupid selfie thumbnail. <laughs> Stupid right. selfie thumbnail. So, obviously we are going to uh, drink these side by side yeah. and see how they compare. Oh, this one's foaming up. Okay. Uh, so, bourbon barrel in the Alchemist glasses. There you go. Well, Trade we'll just so we're gonna... Call the burn barrel on 1618 Orkney Grade in Basie. No, thank you. Okay. See, this one, uh, people are talking about that AI taking over the world. That just I happened. like it. I don't like it. Hey, ask your watch what barrel this is. Your beer looks different than mine. Well, that's the regular one. Oh, mine's just got a lot of head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll pour some more in here then. Yeah. There we go. Whatever. Whatever. All right. All right. All right so uh, let's try the, the first one up. It's... Why why do we act like this is the first time we've ever done beer it reviews? Generally is. Every time we do a beer battle... <laughs> Poppy's fault. He's like, I want to watch these guys blow up on live TV. <laughs> I'll show them. What are you showing first? Uh, the regular winter ale. Okay, and I'm going to show the, right. the barrel age. All right, so definitely a color difference. Yeah, yours is more of like a... It's a deep rust. It's like Jurassic Park amber, but yeah. slightly darker. A little bit of carbonation bubbles coming My, up there. Dude, mine looks like uh, almost like a brown ale. It what does. You know what I mean? This looks really or nice. Like ESB or something. Um, nice little finger ahead on there yeah, too. So Mine's I definitely, I didn't, I hard poured a little bit, but it's definitely sticking around a lot more than that. Yeah, which this is got like, yeah, this head is not good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we couldn't find what barrel this is aged in. All we know is they add like Christmas cookie dough to the yeah, the like sugar cookie or something like yeah. that. So it's a gorgeous Dude, look. Look at your dang, look head. at that. The head is going nowhere. <laughs> it's got nothing. It's, it's like a Jello jiggler. My head's just running away. It's a cookie jiggler, Mike. Cookie jiggler. Don't steal that. That's ours. Don't, don't do it. Uh, let's get a whiff on this one. Ooh. Oh, man. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that was... I was not expecting all that. There's cinnamon, but it's like fresh cinnamon. Big time cinnamon. You know what it... Okay. I, I know I said it smells like cinnamon, fresh cinnamon, but to convey my idea of fresh cinnamon, remember when everyone was doing the cinnamon challenge? Yeah. yeah. That's what it's like. I, I used to make like cinnamon sugar toast, but it wasn't mixed. Like I'd put the cinnamon on yeah. first. And it, like, you know, when you would get like a poof of cinnamon in your face, that's what it smells like. But oh. there is a, a sugar cookie behind it. Oh, I'm getting it. a lot more of the cookie there. Are the oh, yeah? I think. Like a little uh, bit of the, I'm not. See, I'm getting it perfectly on this. This smells like a cinnamon Dude, so sugar Nikki's cookie. mom, she just like Christmas time, she makes like 50 pounds of this stuff for all the different parties and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. Like, the sugar cookies and... I feel like someone just almost, stamped a... I almost got some icing in there, too. A little sweet vanilla action. I, mine is all Oh, my God. Cookie. Know what I just got? <laughs> the iced animal crackers with the pink frosted... The frosted oh, animal yeah. crackers. <laughs> What a good pull. Now I want some. Wow. You have some, right? Like, I just got that. So, <sighs> damn it. Well, now mm. I can't not think of that. I'm like, yeah, you're right. right do you want to try ice. this first and then get a uh, this Yeah, one. let's try okay. this one first. All right, cheers. cheers. Thanks, Thanks, Poppy. Poppy. Yo, we go. You owe me some iced animal crackers. Mmm. That's smooth. 
Normally, I'm not a fan of the spice and the cinnamon, but oddly enough, this sort of works. The cinnamon is, <laughs> it's very present, almost a little too present. Mm. I think the sweetness from the cookie saves it, though. For me, yeah, that's other, what makes it drink. Otherwise, I think it would it would burn. This almost drinks. I'll tell you what. There was carbonation bubbles coming up in it, but this is almost like nitro. Yeah, body's uh, mm, underside of medium. Okay, it's not quite medium. It's not quite medium, but yeah, it's put. It wants to be medium. It feels like. Yeah, it it's very. You're right. It's 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 like the last bus stop before you get to the bus stop of nitro. Yeah. Basically. I agree. All right. Oh, man. That's pretty good. I'm really interested. We didn't grab waters. Okay. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Wow. Whoa. There's a, there's a big barrel character. Oh, oh. That's funky. But the cinnamon is still there. Like, it's a really nice, like, cinnamon whiskey. I wonder if they did it. I wonder if they used Guess Dan. Guess Dan. Dan's got a refined palate now. He's done many bourbon whiskey. I was just going to uh, say, I, I wonder if they used um, rye barrels. Because it's got a little spiciness oh. to it. It's got like a... Okay, there, yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. Slight, There's a slight mintiness going on, like a spearmint. All right. But then you get that really funk dank, like... Uh, it's like a a waterlogged, os like, mossy uh, oak. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I, I like know... You're, you're walking through... Uh, uh, just a, a forest that it's it's been raining for a couple of days and it's just saturated. Yeah, and you I, get the woody. I love that when I get that aspect out of like whether it's straight bourbon or like a bourbon barrel aged out where it's that wet wood. I freaking mm. love it. And I still get a, the cinnamon cookie is still in there, but the bourbon is just above it's, it. It's slightly, slightly like rotting. <laughs> We've gone downhill so fast. This is a rotten beer. <laughs> let's, let's, let's dive in. <laughs> Cheers. We can talk more about your rotten beer wood in a minute. Oh. Oh my. Um, carbonation is bumped up. I taste tequila. <laughs> Do you? I don't know. Dude, I'll tell you what. I get a cinnamon rye whiskey barrel yeah. that has the same cinnamon sugar cookie note in there, but it's dialed back a little bit. This is a good holiday sipper, man. A little bump up in the mm. ABV. I think yep. the body finally gets to about medium. It, it hit that last bus stop and pulled that cord and said, we're here. Toot toot. What do you think? I think I've never heard a bus bell make that sound, but yeah, okay. Oh, the beer. Um, this is a lot sweeter. So the barrel version is a lot sweeter, I think. It, it's like, it comes off sweeter, and the cinnamon is a bit subdued, right? Because the, the barrel yes. character. Yes. I think I just started, as this is settling in, I'm starting to get some, like, raisin kind of plum notes starting to come through. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Prune. This it's thing is prune. so freaking... Prune. 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 What's if we do this to the camera? But I will camera. share them with you. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I messed with the camera. Poppy knows. Oh, I'm well aware you Well, Poppy's got his shit from. dialed in. Well, yeah, he, he's not spending all his reviews going, oh, let me push this just, box. Yeah, uh, on the screen, man. I look like Casper the Ghost. No, you don't. We it. fix that. No, we don't. Look at it. You messed with something. It's good. I like this one a lot better than this. This. I'll tell you what. I, as I'm not a huge fan of winter ales, I like these ones a lot. Okay. I think they're very good. They are good. We Kuvi in them. Yeah. You have. Let's be right. <laughs> oh, well, you over poured. I did. I was excited. I had too much headache. I mean, look at these labels on these All things. Right. I got the holiday spirit. What? Did, well, you gotta rate them first. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm gonna give. I'll give this a, oh boy, I don't know. I'll give it a four. I think it's solid and very serviceable. Okay. This, 
I'll give a 4.15. 3.75. Mm-hmm. For the Christmas cookie. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and... Four one for this. Okay, I, I think you could the, do the, the, far worse. There's still some. Christmas there's still some zombie oak in here. I'm not sure what what that <laughs> well, is. But. I mean, you're probably getting a disease right now, and you're going to turn eventually. We better get as many reviews under our belt as we can before you're done. <laughs> no, I, I do appreciate this because the Christmas cookie is still evident for the most part. Mm-hmm. A little t- take the back seat, but whatever. Yeah, I, I think they're both very well made beers for right. for winter spice ales. Yeah, we might as well. Cuvée what I can here. Okay. I don't care. This is the fun of beer battles. It really is. Thanks, Poppy. Thanks, Pappy. Pappy. Whatever. I'd ride this blue Mustang with him. I think he's got a Mazda now or something. Yeah. But he in his head, it's still a Mustang. It's still a Mustang? I think so. He says he loves that car, do, but... Do, do, you think on the, do you think, like, on the back bumper... He's got the... My, my other dream car is a Mustang. <laughs> it's just a Polaroid of his old Mustang. <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> now, you have a slightly different pour than me, so... Okay. Well, I made sure mine was even. I didn't. Well, that's your fault. No, I, I don't know. That's a good-looking beer. It's a good-looking beer. Wow, okay, so that. the color is definitely... It got darker. Yeah. Um, Gorgeous-looking beer. They call me short stack. Aroma if you hold is... this beer up to my face, it looks so white. Every time. From the we camera. had it fixed. You messed with it the last week. We it had snowed it out. I can't. That had nothing to do with Listen. it. You looked fine earlier. Okay. Did I? Yeah, you you looked like a gorgeous man earlier. What if we change it back? You cast right yourself up. 160. There we go. I'm going to take that towel away. <laughs> All right, let's talk <laughs> about the beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're drinking a beer. <laughs> you talk about the nose, I'll... No, we'll, we'll talk about it. Well, I got... The, the nose was dumbed down. For oh! Me. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's so much better. Because you're getting that all the sugar cookie, and it takes away from the weird zombie oak, and but the zombie oak still presents itself and dumbs down the cinnamon. It's like the perfect blend. This really is. Like, I think the barrel-aged one... The carbonation in it got dumbed down Ooh. by the regular, so now it drinks mm. a little smoother, a little more nitro-y. This is good. It's very smooth and silky. It's soft. It's soft. Soft. It's soft. Soft. S-A-W-T. Soft. F-T. Um, soft. Personally, if I were in the Charlotte, North Carolina area buying these beers, I would get one of each and just mix them. Oh, it's four pack and just yeah, mix them. Just mix them. And when you drink them, it's just a permanent cuvee. It's delicious. Cuvee. Cuvee. All right. Uh, I'll give this a four point two five. I'm God. right there with you. This is a four point two. I, I think it's delicious. Like, man, oh, that's good. That's <laughs> really tasty. Yeah. It's really fluffy. Oh my gosh. This is your prize right here. This is it. This is it. Poppy, did you cuvee? Did you cuvee? Poppy. Cuvee. 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 Poppy Coovies. There's another channel for him to have as he's soaking up all of YouTube and all the bandwidth from everybody else. <laughs> what do you think Poppy Coovies is? What's the inaugural episode? Uh, I think he's Coovie and... It, I don't know why he doesn't Coovie chicken sandwiches. Like, why, why doesn't he get the best ones and just, like, mash them all together and eat them as one? So you could... Yeah, so you could Coovie a chicken sandwich. Oh, yeah. And then he's got a Coovie, like, all the Mountain Dews. Who's, who's that Chugs guy? The Badline Chugs. Yeah. But doesn't he coo- I, I I thought I saw him coovie like I somebody. don't know. All I know is I watched that man use Das Boot. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> with. Oops. Uh, filled that thing with the flaming hot Mountain Dew. Oh, I, I watched that. That was. And chugged the, the, the whole thing. God, that was. It hurt to watch that. I was like, oh my God. That made me eyed. Wow. Um, I think. I was waiting for Will Ferrell to come busting through. Fred Boutank! Dude, I think you're right. I think Poppy needs to line up no less than 10 Mountain Dews, coovy all of them, and just drink them. How would you coovy the chicken sandwich? 
You take one part of each. Okay, like you so, take the bottom okay, line so, from so, one. So if you went to like Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, and I don't know, where's the place Poppy hates it? He'll get mad about KFC. And uh, <laughs> I was gonna say this Burger King so many. So you take like much. the bottom bun from like KFC. Yeah. The top bun from like Chick-fil-A. You make it like a Big Mac, so there's three buns. Yep. And then you cut like a third of each chicken sandwich and put, put it together. Each fillet in there, and then you gotta have toppings from what, each one in there. It's yeah. gotta be like what a, if you a cut like, what if you cut the fillet and just like I'm thinking like thirds. Like an outside, outside, and Oh yeah, you could. Yeah, put it together as one fillet. You gotta have toppings from all of them in there. You have to have yeah all the on, ingredients on trip, to make. On, listen, we're giving you gold uh, on each true. strip. This is all free. On each way. strip, you do like that Chick Fil A sauce toppings. Yep, and then on KFC's got some zinger sauce. Sure, and then the whatever the other one is, the Burger King chicken sandwich. I don't know. You put some ketchup on there or something. I don't know. <laughs> ketchup, <laughs> and then check out a slick sauce. It's ketchup. <laughs> It's Burger King's <laughs> selects. <laughs> oh man, I you made a burger king and right. ketchup? Oh. Made a burger king, you can get some of that select sauce. Oh, it just amplifies their chicken sandwiches. But does he do, do you have to do the same thing with the bun too? Do you cut the buns in thirds so they're each? Burger, you know how they say that was it? <laughs> caviar dreams? Like it's like Burger King. And it's like late at night and the light goes out and the spotlight comes on. It's a chicken sandwich. Inside's the ketchup. Toddler dreams. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, dude. Because, dude, my kid, no matter what it is, I, no matter what it is, it's, it's not even a trick question at this point. I'm like, got some cereal. I'm like, you want some ketchup with that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you just ketchup on everything. Why not? Did you ever eat ketchup on macaroni and cheese when you were a kid? I still do. Oh, well, there you go. See? It's the same thing. I, I can't, but... You know what? Now. Okay, I'm going to lead you down to... Like, I'm <laughs> We've gonna lead, already gone down to dark path, path, so... Uh, this is even more dark and okay. more twisted. We may lose subscribers <laughs> over this. <laughs> no one's watching this. It's like 20 minutes. If I lose time. anybody over the Hydrox, this... Come on. You ever put a little, some, little bit of mayo in your mac and cheese? Yes. You want to know the first time I did that? It was like the first time I met Amanda, like when we were down there and she was, we were just making something to eat. I was like, what are you doing over there? And she's like, oh, I'm putting mayo in the mac and cheese. I'm like, don't do that. Why would you do it? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> it was pretty good. It's, uh, it's I'll tell you what, pretty, I, I, I get some, I get some craft original cheap noodles, craft mac and cheese. You put just a little bit of mayo in there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just putting it out there. It's. It's not as bad as you would think. It's the day I learned to trust her. Anyways, Poppy, I doubt you watch this whole thing. If you do, you're a trooper. You better have. I mean, you sent us the beer. The least they can do is stay for the banter. I, I watch all his reviews, like, to the very end. Yeah. You yeah. watch this. Sometimes it's such an emotional trip. I know. That's the best part. You don't know what kind of emotion you're going to end on. <laughs> You can, you can, you can I've seen, full, I've seen, it. listen, I've, full range of emotions. In I've, seen, I've seen Poppy go from <laughs> seething rage, like, like, like alien with the, the stuff oh, yeah. ripping out. Just like, ah, and then by then he's like, you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad sandwich. Yeah, but that's the thing. He could run through like a range of eight different emotions of, like you said, seething anger to just like tears of joy. And then he's like kind of indifferent to things. And then he's happy about something. And then he's back to just being sad about something. And the video's over and you're like, that video was only three and a half minutes. He, he just went through like a Homer Simpson <laughs> worth of emotions. That can't be good. <laughs> it's, it's a medical well, issues going on. Poppy. <laughs> Before we end this video, I just want to let you know, the last tricks I knew were sponsored by Pizza Hut for this video. <laughs> he hates Pizza Hut. <laughs> oh my gosh, why didn't we order a pizza? Oh, it's just... <laughs> Alright, we gotta go. It's getting crazy up in here. Uh, yeah, anyway. Sycamore. Uh, yeah, Sycamore Brewing Company, uh, Poppy. Poppy Eats, we will link him down on the channel. If you do not watch his uh, food reviews, you're doing yourself a disservice. You need to watch his channel, definitely, before you watch ours. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.